Hi friends, thanks for tuning into this video where I'll show you how to create a table, formerly called Entities, in Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. Let's get started. Here's what we're going to be building. We're going to pretend that we're customizing the Dynamics 365 sales app for a real estate office, and they need a way to capture information about the properties they're selling. We'll create a table called Property, with columns for type, address, square footage, floors, year built, picture, and the listing agent. That's going to point to the contact table that we get out of the box. I'm here at make.powerapps.com because, of course, Dynamics 365 sits on top of Power Apps, and that's where you need to make your customizations. We're going to be customizing the Sales app right here so that over on the left we can navigate to our properties. I've already set up a solution back here called Tiny Realty. If you aren't sure how I got this far, check out this other video where I walk you through how to create an environment, solution, and a model-driven app. Okay, with Tables selected, click on New, Table. The name of this will be Property. The primary column is going to default to Name. That's fine for what we're doing. There are additional options you can choose here. We don't need to do any of those for what we're doing, but just know that that's an option, and click Save. And there you go, you have a new table. Now I could just end the video right here, that's how you create the table, but I'm guessing you also want columns as well, and we definitely do. If you click on columns, you'll see you get quite a few things here out of the box. This is gonna be standard across all tables that you get things like created by, modified by, and so on. To create your own new columns, click on add column. First is gonna be property type. And here we want to allow our users to pick from some predefined options called choices. And then we need to define that list. So click on new choice up here. The first will be single family. If you hit enter, that'll drop you down to the next line and then tab tab will move you to that line where you can update. Condo will be next. Enter tab tab, townhouse. You can also click to add a new item, and then we'll say Manufactured. Click on Save, and that saved your list of choices. Now click on Done to save the column. That was created here. It's bold because we haven't saved the table yet. Let's add a few more columns though, and then we'll save the table. Next we have Address. For this, we're just going to make it text. We could split this into street address, city, state, zip, and so on. We're just going to keep it simple though, leave it one text column. Click Done. Next we have square footage. This will be a whole number because we might need to do some math on it at some point. And click Done. Have just a few more. Next is floors, number of floors. This should also be probably a choice, so you can predefine the numbers here and not have user data entry errors. So new choice will go with one, two, three, really tall house will go with four, and click done. Year built is our next column. This you could leave as text, but if you need to do some math on this to figure out the age of the property, for instance, you probably want it to be a number, so we'll go with whole number there as well. And just two more things. We need to have a picture of the house or property. So data type here, there is a data type for image. And we're going to say this is a primary image. When you get to the end user interface, you'll be able to upload this picture as the primary one that shows up in various views, for instance. For now, we'll click on Done, and then lastly, the Listing Agent. And this is going to be a lookup field that lets you look up to the Contact table. That's the related table. We get contact available out of the box. It's got a lot of good sample data in there for us as well. Contact, and Done. Okay, save the table. And that's basically it. We've created a new table for property and added various columns with various types. To build out the forms for the table, check out this video next.